everyone hi this is Uzwa live from South Africa happy Monday I hope you all are good so today our topic is working from home and here are some ways to be more productive several short months ago um, the millions of people all around the world woke up each morning hopped into the shower grab a bite to eat and jump into the car to head off for work and then came the came the pandemic and everything changed Many countries implemented hard lockdowns with very little movement outside except to get groceries, where some implemented soft lockdowns, though, pe though people, most people stayed at home. Here are some ways to be more productive and working from home. Clean your workspace. Working in an office space forces you to work with limitations. You have got a desk, computer and a few knickknacks. At home, that's not the case. It's a distraction heaven. You got the kids running around in your house, your cat scratching the sofa wanting to go out, the delivery guy is coming to deliver some goods, and the social media notifications on your personal phone going off every few minutes. For all these reasons and probably a few more, you need to create a clean workplace. Focus is the key to maximum efficiency, meaning you need to limit distraction. As Francine J, author of The Joy of Less says, Surfaces are not for storages, rather surfaces are for activity and should be kept clear at all the times. Limit what you have on your desk or just bare essentials. Always keep in mind the saying, clean desk, clean mind. Number two, implement single focus time. Terrell Hardy, as the former publisher of Success Magazine, had a chance to talk to more successful people on the planet. Hardy talks in depth about the importance of focus and what he calls a 90 minute jam session. Not everyone might be in a position to do that, but the goal is to carve out at least two times each day for uninterrupted work. No calls, no emails, no nothing. Just single minded focus, even it for just 30 minutes. It's amazing how simply doing this will transform your productivity. Number three. Use a timer. Don't get caught up in doing more and more. In this crazy, unpredictable global environment, there are always more to be done. Fall into the trap and you might not be able to get out. Get set small period of time to work on a task. And once that timer hits zero, time's up. It's amazing how fast you move on when you are under the gun. Number four, take mini breaks. One of the best and the worst thing about working from home is not having people around watching us all the time. It's, in your, it's all in your hands. That means you, if you want to take a break, you can take a break. If you are serious about boosting your productivity, you should do that. After a focus session, my best advice would be simply go out for a walk. Get some fresh air and a change of scenery. Some light stretches will also work. Number Five, use list. A to-do list is something everyone swears by, but the real key lies in prioritize your time. For the digitally, for, for, for the digital minded people, there is an app called Rocket 135, which forces us to create just nine tasks each day. You break tasks into one big, three medium and five small. I love the limitation as it forces us to be cutthroat with our tasks. And the last one, enjoy yourself. This sounds a little silly to say, but it shouldn't be overlooked. Happiness improves productivity. Being stuck at home for a long period of time, most people is a big pull in the opposite direction. Did you ever see someone working the day before a, lo before a long vacation? They're powering through the day. Some will get done more in a day or they have ever done all the week. It's all, it's what like I call the day before vacation phenomenon. That's why it's imperative to schedule in some fun each week. So now get off the couch and start producing. I hope this helped and I'm going to come back again soon. Take care. Goodbye.